Welcome everybody to my workbench. Today I have a special surprise. I wasn't expecting to make this video so soon, but I found this sitting on my doorstep today. This is the WPLC 54 body. It's the uh, FJ80 Land Cruiser they just released. Um, <clears throat> this got to my house in Northern California in uh, just under five days. I ordered it on December 3rd and it got here today, December 8th. So I was pretty shocked. I thought it was going to take a while to get here from China, but when I examined the box, uh, I noticed it had a label coming from California. So maybe they got a warehouse in California. Anyhow, um, I ordered mine. $35, so if you get yours, this is what you can expect to see. Um, let's go through the box really quick. Got my body in here. Inside this bag is a body with some spare tire and interior. Some uh, windshield wipers and interior accessories. Lenses. screws and the uh, windshield windows and so here is the body let's take a close look they expect you to have a C24 already to transfer this body to so here's my C24 that I will be using I'm not going to do a complete little video. I'm just going to quickly go through the box so you can see what you'll get when you order yours. So we've already covered these. They throw in a roof rack with some accessories like a light rack, a ladder. Here's uh, interior dash pieces with the stock bumper. Here's some aftermarket accessories like an aftermarket grill and an aftermarket bumper. And the instructions. So, I'm going to go ahead and assemble this really quick. And then once I have it put together, we'll see what it takes to put it on a C24 frame. Okay, when you're installing this window, you see here, there's a little tab in the body that fits into a notch in the window. And you need to press the two together in order to lock the window in place. Once you get these two notches in place, the window's in nice and snug. So here we have the new C54 wheel design. Looks like they copied the uh, TRD aftermarket wheel. And we also have a new tread pattern. It's not very aggressive. It's more of a dirt trail tire. 
you only get one spare tire with this body and if you want to get a full set you have to order them off of the WPL website I'm not a big fan of this wheel or the tire so I uh, I'll just run what I some extras that I have in here somewhere got maybe some little bigger tires we'll try we'll see what happens everybody I pretty much got the body assembled the way I like it I chose to use the off-road bumper with the uh, stock grill and headlight assembly of course you need to have a roof rack with the ladder um, and that's kind of how it's gonna be I'm not gonna put the door handles and the mirrors and things uh, I'm going to end up painting this body and uh, this is just gonna be kind of a a test fit so let's get to it um, this is the C24 and in order to get the body off of the C24 I have one screw back here and we've got two screws up front And one really hard to reach screw hidden right here. All right, after a little struggle, we seem to get the body off. Um, this is how I built my C24. I have a two-speed transmission in here with a 370 motor and I also have a axle mounted servo. Because of the axle mounted servo I had to clear out most of the original servo tray to give it clearance. Um, we'll see if that poses a problem when it comes to mounting the new body. So let's get the old body out of here bring in the new body. Uh, the new body <clears throat> looks like it has the same screw back here and two side screws for the frame. Now this plate right here would usually screw to the servo plate but because mine is butchered it won't. I'm going to just use this and screw it in place. Okay, that's in place. That won't act as a mount, but it will serve as a nice little plate under the hood. I can manage to get the hood open. And as you can see, the plate will be right there. We might use that for the battery. I don't know if my battery will fit. Let's check. Look at that. All right. <clears throat> I like to use these 1200 milliamp two cells. 
use them in all my WPLs, they work great. This is the receiver that I use. This is actually from WL Toys. It's a um, 10 amp ESC with a built in receiver. And I modified it to power a 370. And I also have two wires that will power uh, LEDs. So let's see if we can find a spot. Just some double sided sticky tape here. Okay, that should do well. Just put some sticky tape in there, it's stuck to the bottom of that plate. The front of the body should be held on with those two screws, perfect. See the bumper screws will line up with the frame up front. And we got the screw in the back that lines up perfectly as well. Okay, so here we have it. I replaced the old springs with the new C54 springs. It's not sitting any lower, but it is a lot softer. I will probably end up cutting some springs to lower the ride height or mount the shocks in a different position, I'm not sure. I still need to figure out what color I want to paint this truck. Um, I used to drive a 1994 FJ Land Cruiser just like this, but it was green, so I'm not sure if I will try to replicate that truck or if I will try to find a different color that I like better. But drop your opinion in the comments below and let me know what you think of this setup and what you would do. Um, I will follow up later when I have it complete and we will see how it performs on the trail. So thank you for watching. Click subscribe if you'd like to see more and uh, we'll see you again next time.